Okay, there it is. Using the GoPro, see how that works. Looks like they just started on the cleaning up the hole. No detail yet. Aluminum's not polished yet. Those right there always corrode. Every boat I've ever seen, every Duckworth has a little bit of corrosion right there. I don't know why they even put those on there. But I'll live with that. Here's the trailer. Looks like I need to do all that stuff too because I'll have to clean those up. We talked about doing that. Digging the all aluminum trailer though. I don't have to worry about the uh, galvanized. It's pretty heavy duty. Talk about adjusting the trailer a little bit too. heavy-duty ladder goes up there rod holders that so water doesn't go on the back deck it's got the trailer whatever the hell they call those helps the trailer easier sucker's huge digging it twin 200s don't have the kicker on there yet it's going to go right there and that transducer well, looks like a bunch of hot garbage so I'm getting a new one of those this one does have an extended ladder a lot of them are like half that size which is cool I guess if you're short in there battery switch batteries <clears throat> this is for a crab pot puller that is for the downriggers which I have the downriggers for that the wash down thing my jigger it opens like that yep yeah, little hose in there Now this thing here is for some side sort of thing. I think it's for possibly towing a boat, another boat. So the fish box has a cutting surface on there. And fish box, bleed box. Rod holders right there, which I have the inserts for that already <coughs> wash down pump is right there macerator pump is there the macerator pump is for actually that fish box right there which needs to be pumped out but I won't do that so I don't get it in their garage ring these little things fold down here so it's going to be a step or a step or a seat that is controls for the main controls for the kicker you guys snagged the e perb out of that so I have to get another one of those like 400 450 bucks that is the pump for the autopilot cigarette lighter adapter oh i don't know what that is what's that for that's 
cigarette lighter adapter there, which is cool. Um, that's for the CB radio, or the VHF actually. That's uh, deck lighting, LED, high, whatever, high capacity. Inside. Diamond plated roof. With the Garmin uh, GPS, Garmin high definition radar. Spotlight over there. VHF antenna. It's a running light there. Some badass rocket launchers. Digging those. <laughs> Sliding door instead of flip open latch is right there and make sure you latch it when you're underway There's the toilet there pump out is there flush is there There's the lights on I'll turn the batteries on real quick see how that goes nice long video before so no idea what you do here that's for the autopilot by the way the lights look like they're LED it's for the stove I, don't know, I guess that's for holding the pot or something they sink there's the water pump for the sink curtains on all the windows there must be the hole number, I believe, or the tag number for emergencies. Another cigarette lighter adapter there. Good size refrigerator. Oh, it's got a little freezer box right on. <coughs> Didn't know that. LED lighting. This is one of the best parts right here. Shit right there. That's for holding a bunch of rods. I'm trying to figure out why there's water in there though. I'll have to clean that up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve rods. And plus storage, I guess. It's huge. Our table. windows in the bathroom storage up there put little backs on the seats for holding stuff which is cool stand in here it's kind of dark here, but hopefully everything film comes out all right storage in there big lots of storage like that some lighting there I don't know where to Switches for that. Uh oh, let me lock this one. Oh, no, they didn't. 